Now, Victoria has recorded no new cases for the 35th consecutive day. It comes as researchers unveil an Australian first tool designed to quickly track mystery infections. Stephanie Ferrier reports. Victoria has recorded yet another day of no new cases. So that is now our 35th day in a row with no new infections in this state. And that comes off the back of some 8,784 tests that were returned. It also is good news given that we did have an alert from the health department yesterday about viral fragments that had been discovered in wastewater in the Dalesford, Hepburn and Hepburn Springs area just northwest of Melbourne and they were calling for any residents or anybody who had visited that area between the 28th of November and the 1st of December to go and get tested immediately if they had any symptoms whatsoever. So it's clear that at this stage there have been no positive cases yet that have come from that. It also bodes really well for Premier Daniel Andrews' announcement on Sunday about relaxing rules even further and carrying us through to the end of the year with more of a COVID normal setting. Now this also comes at the same time that the state government has unveiled its Australian first tracker, the mystery case tracker, which is a new tool designed to really quickly track down some of these coronavirus outbreaks and it could come in very handy for other states like New South Wales which has this recent scare and the Health Minister Martin Foley says he's very happy to share this tool around the country just to try to make sure that we can remain as COVID free as possible. He says that this has been developed in-house by our local public health experts and it really is just basically a visual tool which maps out uh, the contact tracing data to very quickly give a visual understanding of these emerging clusters. And it uses uh, these digital diagrams to show cases, their close contacts, as well as their movements. And it can also compare other case outbreaks as well as high risk areas to just try to draw together those threads and find the missing links. Now, epidemiologists believe that this can save them hours in their investigations. And it comes after Victoria really came in for a lot of criticism about its slow and clunky contact tracing system during the peak of the second wave. At that time, the nation's Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, held up New South Wales as the gold standard in contact tracing and was calling on all other states to emulate what they'd done there. In that same month, epidemiologists here were starting to use this tool and they say that they did have quite a few successes and they have been refining it ever since. They hope that it can be even further enhanced with more accurate location capabilities and also potentially to be able to send out alerts to people uh, with high risk areas and uh, just really to be able to stamp on top of any of these outbreaks. So it's all about keeping one step ahead of any emerging clusters. That will be particularly important for Victoria with us finally resuming our international arrivals and the hotel quarantine system on Monday with uh, some flights coming in uh, and up to 160 passengers arriving here. But obviously it's certainly hoped that we won't be needing to use this tool anytime soon.